Hello everyone, it's Lottie from Enjoying the Journey Cancer as a Lifestyle. I hope you are enjoying your Sunday today. I have two short little announcements to make before we get into the rest of the video. One is the baby hats, the purple baby hats for shaken baby syndrome. Uh, they are due September 30th. Um, I think that's the last date that they will receive any boxes um, because they pass them out in November, I believe, to the hospitals. If you are participating in that, um, the links are down below. They have several uh, states that are the closest locations that you can send it to. You do not have to send it to the actual um, where they're located at the, the National Center for Shaken Baby Syndrome. They are offering, I think there's like six different states, maybe even more that are um, drop-off centers that you can send there. So go down there, look at the list uh, in the description, where is the closest one near you uh, to send off those uh, purple baby hats. Now, I am gonna be sending mine off uh, in uh, like the second week of September or so. I wanna get those off. So if there is anyone that um, would like to participate and maybe um, the states that are listed are actually not closer to you, uh, maybe I'm closer to you instead, and you know, to save on postage, you can, you can also send them to me and I will add it to the box. So I'm just making that little announcement because I do know there were some people that wanted to uh, mail them in to me. Um, or if you just want to do it yourself, whichever is more cost efficient. So I am putting it out there. So if you can have, if you plan on sending them to me, uh, please have them here by September 1st. Um, yes, so that's announcement number one. Announcement number two is the Granny Square um, drive. Now, I am accepting any granny squares. If there is any one of you that have extra granny squares, it doesn't matter what size is, or you like to make granny squares, or you don't know what to do with your granny squares, <laughs> send them to me. I will be putting them together to make uh, blankets. Um, I do plan on making uh, several donations now that it's already end of July, August is around the corner, and uh, once September comes around, I am going to be making quite a few donations with hats and blankets to the local organizations around here. Also, if there is, uh, I guess I have more than one announcement. Also, <laughs> if there is an organization that is very dear to your heart and you would like us to make a donation to them uh, with crochet items, feel free to message me. Um, excuse me, send me an email or so with the name of the uh, organization and I will be happy to uh, make a donation there to them. No problem. Also, if you have, for instance, someone that you know could use a blanket, you know, either they're going through a health crisis or any kind of, you know, they need a pick me up and um, you would like me to uh, make them a blanket and send it to them all at my cost, I will be glad to do so. I have done that many times. I believe uh, a blanket gives uh, someone the feeling of someone cares for them, loves them, especially when they are down or going through their worst day or their worst moment of their life. So all those uh, little announcements out of the way, I will have all that down in the below in the description box. Yes, there you go. Now. Let's start off with something I have been forgetting to do, and I have to, I, I owe uh, someone an apology. I am sorry, Janet, from Crafts and Tea with Janet K. She has been blessing me with so much uh, happy mail, Lord, making things, so many things for, my, for me, and she sent me the, oh, excuse me, I shouldn't be showing her, but she sent me a, um, something else a couple weeks ago, and I have been, it's been sitting on my desk. I've been every time I do a video I've been wanting to share it with you guys and I keep forgetting every single time so I am going to share this with you right now because she is just a lovely lady her links will be down below where you can go and show her some love so she has oh I don't know what this is but look at the presentation this cute little bag with strawberries on it what is this Janet oh Oh, this is some kind of a, oh my goodness, a chain of some kind. Oh, look at this. It's a necklace and it says, keep calm. No, 
what does it say? Excuse me. Keep calm. Keep calm and carry yarn. Isn't this awesome? Janet, this is beautiful. I don't know where you got this. Can you guys see that? That is so lovely. I love that. Thank you. Oh my goodness. And there's another one here. She said, Is this a keychain? I am going to put that. I carry all kinds of keychains till I wear them out. And it says, What is it? Keep calm and carry yarn. Isn't that adorable? Can you see that the glare is in the way? Isn't that awesome? That is beautiful. Thank you, Janet. And then she sent me. Ooh. Oh, another one of her cards playing that she decorates. I have to show. Look, first of all, she. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Well, let me take it out of the container. She made a container for it. Now, I told you, if you guys have been watching me, I am going to. Oh, my goodness. I'm trying. <laughs> I am going to um, actually hang them on my tree. I'm thinking of turning it into like an ornament. Oh, it's a... Oh. Look at this one. Isn't this lovely? She takes ordinary playing cards and she turns it into a work of art. She always puts her little Made with Kindness by Janet Kay. Isn't that beautiful? Just, you know, I mean, talk about recycling. Isn't that beautiful? She has made me several, several cards. This is uh, like a 4th of July one. I love them. And I actually, I want to um, hang them. I'm going to hang them on my tree. I think they're going to be beautiful ornaments. I love that. Thank you so much, Janet. Jewish you people. are just, oops, my audio came out. You have been blessing me and blessing me. I am just very fortunate to be called your friend. So, and I'm sorry it took forever <laughs> to show it. I'm so sorry. So, you guys, I'm going to show you the progress on my whip. Um, my whip blanket uh, that from bag o day the uh, actual the oh my gosh oyster stitch I couldn't think of that stitch never heard of that stitch till I went on her uh, page and it's um oh, this is the bottom <laughs> let me show you how much I made on it I really worked that whole ball look at the stitch on here can you see what it looks like yeah this is called an oyster stitch. I have never heard of this. And then here's the back. You see that? Isn't that pretty? This is an oyster stitch. I think that I showed you the back. This is the front. Isn't that pretty? So I had, I showed you before, I had these huge balls of teal. This is teal that were, uh, I had a whole bunch of, ball, of balls like this of yarn that were, this is a, a chunky, that were, um, donated to me in different colors this is my second ball you guys so I went through that first one I got quite a bit so if you can see I got quite a bit out of that ball this is how much I did and I ran out and mind you this blanket is quite wide it's just gonna be a real blanket like for a bed and all it's gonna be a nice size blanket and I love this stitch I've never heard of this which is the side yeah this is the front this is the front I have never heard of the oyster stitch this is from bag o day isn't that pretty that is very pretty so I have another ball I'm working on this is gonna be nice and warm too that's how much I got done now I also uh, finished my uh, another blanket I put together these were my mile a minute blanket uh, strips that I did for the 100 day project. I ended up getting out of all those 100 days, all the strips that I made, uh, enough to make five blankets. I made three. I put together this one. This is number four. And I still have one more because I separated all the strips that I have to put together and I have not done so yet. I think it's because I'm trying to keep, um, the color that I bind it with I'm trying to do different colors to see how you know you can change the, the whole look of the blanket just by choosing a different color right so this one is again I have no idea because all of these I'm working on have no labels all the yarn but I believe this is a, like a taupe and so let me see if I can show you this blanket in all the different strips it's quite nice too 
You see how it's looking? I think it came out really nice. It gave it a, it lightened up the blanket a little bit. And uh, it's looking good. So this is my, this is my uh, fourth one that I made with the 100 day project. I have one more. Oh, actually I have two more. One is actually a, um, uh, one that I started uh, like three years ago that I didn't finish my uh, my own minute blanket for uh, my 12 cast downs and I never finished it but this is part of the 100 day project so here it is it's nice size too I'm glad it, it you know I know people complain about um, putting them together they hate it but I have no problem I feel like I work them up really fast um, when you put them together. That's why I like granny squares. I like when people, you know, like donate granny squares to me because I can put them to blankets together like really fast. Now, also another thing I've been working on has been the um, Bag O' Days Hat of Palooza. All her hats. I have, let me show you my next, uh, you know, group. This is the, uh, I believe this one is the corner to corner in the round that she did and she actually did a hat and scarf set together I just did the hat I think it came out okay it actually is like this but you fold it over she was folding it over I haven't washed these yet or anything I've just finished them so yeah here's one all of these are going to go in the donation pile and they're going to be donated to different children's organizations uh, in the fall so I'm just starting out there's this one here is it's quite unique you know this is the front double crochet uh, front post double crochet and back post double crochet and all you're doing is you're alternating at every row that you're doing so you uh, these front posts and back posts never meet up but it creates this really nice little pattern it looks really nice. I have noticed that a lot of her hats actually have a lot of texture on them. It's not smooth, they have texture. And this one has a little bit of a texture too. But I like this stitch. I like the way that looks. And it is just a front post double crochet and a front post back, po back post double crochet and you alternate it in the, in the round. Really nice. I thought it came out really good. Uh, this one is another one of her. Sorry. And this one is a. Um, all this one is is a bunch of uh, double crochets, and then here she has, I believe this is the puff, puff double crochet. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. It's double crochet puff double crochet puff. That's what it is. And I think that came out okay looking too. Again, like I said, she has a lot of <coughs> texture in hers. Now this next one, I was reading her comments. There were a lot of people that loved this hat of hers. And maybe because it had so many different, um, what do you call them, stitches in them. Like these were front post all the way. These were front post and she did... Uh, double crochets then she did the um, back pole you know the ridge rib then she did cluster then she did another rib then she did uh, herringbone and then just a, a single crochet all the way around so uh, when I read the comments on this tutorial it was um, a lot of them loved her this hat and a lot of them said that this was probably the their favorite of all her hats so there you go and this one here I, is another one which one is this now oh this is um yeah this is another one of hers you can't really can't really see it because we started out with puffs all the way on top I kind of uh if you notice I'm I mine curled too much so I gave it that uh, Kind of curled a little bit too much though like i had um you know but i straightened it out i think it looks okay but it started out right away with puff 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 it's hard to do it when you start with puff puffs on the top and then it has double crochet and then puffs and double crochet and puffs and that's all she was doing is alternating that 
and but she started with double uh, with puffs all the way on top. I thought that that kind of gathered it too much. Like, see how mine kind of gathered too much, but I think it still did all right. Uh, this one is double crochet and cluster, double crochet and cluster. There you go. I think it came out good. So that's where I'm at with her hats. I will have her playlist down below so you can see. Oh, and then I made just a, a basic one. I um, Just a double crochet. Um, and it's at, from top to the bottom. That's all it is, just a double crochet hat. Uh, that's it. So that's all I got, you guys. I don't have anything else. That's all I've been doing. I have been doing a lot of self-care. I, I feel like I haven't been crocheting as much as I normally do. Now, I know, um, I think Ed, Edna said that once that I, I, I crochet a lot. I do. I like to crochet, and I take things with me everywhere I go. Um, I, ha I crochet everywhere. I have realized that. But in the last weeks, I haven't been doing that. And I noticed that, that I don't, uh, you know, I always had a ball of yarn with me no matter where I went. And if only I had 10 minutes, I would crochet for 10 minutes. I haven't been doing that. In fact, I think I have been doing a lot of more self-care. Uh, I've just been feeling very fatigued. Um, and um, so I would come home, I'd go to sleep right away, after, right after supper. I would go to sleep early. I would take naps. So I just find myself that I'm just really, um, it's more self-care <laughs> than I do crochet lately, it seems. But So I always feel guilty like I should be doing a lot more than what I am doing. So, um, yeah, I'm not as crocheting as much as I used to. I could crochet quite a bit. I mean, if there was an opportunity, five minutes here, ten minutes there, I would crochet. So maybe I can get back into that. You know, people would always say that they lost their crojo. And I would be like, I, I, I don't think I've ever lost my crow joe. But I think what um, maybe the, um, I, mean, I, I might have never lost my crow joe, but um, I don't, maybe the ability to crochet as much as I used to, I've kind of lost a little bit. So, yeah. So that's what I got this week. That's I'm going to go into the crochet, uh, into the uh, donation box. I have quite a bit. I want to be, um, I have two donations in the car that I still have not delivered. You guys, it is shameful. Shameful. So, yeah. So, anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And, um, yeah, enjoy the, the days of summer. It's end of July already, guys. We don't have that much left of uh, summer. Uh, enjoy those days. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.